It's almost there. So we've got the selector for the gear change here. Um, you can see I've kind of fixed it in now. It's bolted in so you can take it out if it fails. Um, this is welded inside there. Um, I bought myself a TIG welder for other purposes, but I thought I'd use it here because the MIG can get in and it worked perfectly. So I've got this little bracket here that essentially holds the plastic tight against the connectors. Um, it's hooked up, kind of just cable tied for now. This has been trimmed so it fits inside the uh, rear lid. And then I ended up having to chisel out a section here so that it covers it because the, the bolt and the connector just stick out slightly. And then the rod comes all the way down. I've fixed this properly now. That's kind of all welded together. And then you can see if I um, change the shifter, it kind of aligns pretty much perfectly with the connectors. It's relatively precise each gear change. As long as there's some contact there, it's only five volts. Um, so it should be fine. The, the bit that I'm working on now is because I mounted the motor essentially the wrong way around. Um, here you can see I've got the reverse. Uh, I don't know why I've called it brake. Um, but essentially when I put it in reverse, I need to disconnect this. So I've ordered some uh, five volt relays that should be here tomorrow uh, and they'll try and hook that up and then I should have reverse and then the three forward gears. So now I'm gonna try and put the rear on, make sure it all fits inside and then I can start sanding down and uh, getting some primer on it.